right, hello guys. We are back again with another Train Simulator uh, 2020 video. Today visiting Yellowhead Pass, the newest North American railroad uh, on offer on Steam as of yesterday, Thursday the 9th of July. And uh, got my hands on it. We're going to take a look at it and I'm excited. I want to see what it's got to offer. Uh, just to preface, we'll go over what uh, it comes with. Um, it says, Canadian Nationals Crossing of the Canadian Rockies via Yellowhead Pass. Mountain railroading on the CN, Alberta, and Robson subdivisions. You get uh, about 80 route miles with offer often separated main lines. Uh, a couple of big yards and towns. Jasper, Alberta Yard, uh, Butter Station, and Engine Terminal. Says you get spectacular Rocky Mountain scenery, and that's true from what I've seen already. Uh, CN GMD uh, GMD is that is it really GMD? Is it EMD? I'm confused. GP forty two LW and SD forty two W diesel locomotives. And if I'm not mistaken, this this is the very first scenario. By the way, I just hopped right in. Uh, and this uses the GP40-2LW, which I think is the first one in the game. The first one modeled, I believe. The uh, I think the SD40 was also on uh, Peace River as well. Uh, you get a selection of freight cars, including intermodal equipment, covered hopper, rotary, gondola, flat cars, box cars, tank car, and Canadian National Steel Caboose. Uh, ten scenarios. Jesus. You usually get like five, six on average. Ten. That's huge. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. So we're not really going to do the scenario. We'll, we'll focus on that later. We're just going to look over the route. Uh, again, it's not going to be a review. I, I don't have the wherewithal to do a review. I don't think I know enough. We're just going to look at it, and uh, you can look at it with me. All right, the locos have just been fueled up. You'll now be making your train. You'll be picking up the loaded cars in Jasper Yard. Uh, track 17, you will need to manually change switches in the yard. All right, so I went ahead and turned that down. It's a bit loud. Uh, it's got the weird uh, advanced braking thing, which I'm not fond of, so I'm going to go ahead and crank that down. There we go. I like easy. And it sounds like uh, Kuju sounds right off the bat. Just not not very fantastic. Um, the model itself looks all right. It's not too too bad. It's um, see a couple of fairly unique things to the engine here. Um, for one, that plow on the front, that looks fantastic with the paint on there. Uh, caution, no footboard. And this thing here, I'm not sure what that is, but if any of you know, please leave a comment. Tell me. Uh, otherwise, I'll be Googling. Um, let's see. GF-430A. So the paint looks all right. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's kind of going for a worn look, which is fine, but the colors just seem a little off to me. They... Uh, I don't know, just kind of flat, not not any kind of depth to it. Uh, I don't know. But it's a unique engine nonetheless. I mean, this kind of cab on a GP40, uh, wow. All right, and there's some more sitting over there. We are currently in Jasper, and this yard is sprawling. We'll just zoom out here so you can take a look. Nice town over here. Uh, Let's see, we got the shops, round table over there, a couple of cabooses. We'll go take a look at those as well. It's huge. Um, now, I did add the AP weather. Luckily, it doesn't have that weird, uh, you know, pre-made kind of weather. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but... Uh, you just slap the AP time of day files right in there, and you're good to go, man. It... it Definitely helps. Looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, looks nice. Um, now it, it could have to do with the the region. This is in uh, 
northwestern North America. Um, so, so I don't really know how the ground would look personally. Um, like it, it looks all right. It doesn't look too bad. The the issue I have is that it just looks really barren. Like there's no, you know, just little little clutter, trash, you know, barrels, cones, just just random little things laying about the yard, you know. Maybe they're just anal retentive and keep it really clean here. I don't know. Well, here's a few right here. A couple of old ties. Let's go take a look at the town. It looks sharp. It does look very sharp. Like, uh... I... I... I Gotta admit, I, I wasn't really expecting much, but this town looks alright. Um, but I, I try not to get expectations up to begin with. Uh, this little town looks alright. No traffic lights here or nothing, but uh, it's not a big deal, I guess. Uh, this here looks like a passenger train station. Um, I'm assuming it is. It is Jasper. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the Rocky Mountaineer comes through here. Um, anyway, moving on. What's that say? Vancouver, 534 miles. Montreal, 2,400 miles. So, yeah, we are just about west coast in it over here. Uh, oh, what is this? Nice. That is cool. All right, I have no clue what kind of steam engine that is. Uh, let's see, Canadian 6015 National. I have to look that up as well. But that looks good. It's a decent model. Wow. In fact, I want to get a, a quick picture here with it. That's all right. Uh, and there is a, a sort of native uh, totem pole thing I, I saw over here earlier. Where is it at? See if we can find it. Here it is. This is pretty neat as well. Definitely unique and custom. Um, get a little beak at the top for eagles and whatnot to land on, but that's cool. Um, it's kind of funky right there, but it's a good looking town. Like, uh, oh, here we go. We got a service coming in. Uh, let's see. That would be the SD variant there. Six axle big boys. All right, we'll run over here, check out some more stuff. Got a crossing there. See what these arms do. I have not added the Krellnut uh, freight sounds, but I did see Buzz on Railworks America uploaded uh, or put a, a patch on Railworks America. So head over there and check that out if you want to grab that. Uh, I'll see if I can find a link for it and post it up in the video. Uh, well, the arms are staying down. So far, so good. We'll check back in a second. Keep on looking. Yeah, this, this is nice. Here's our diner. Let's check those arms. Still down. Okay, good deal. But just look at that view, man. You can sit here and just look at that that view, the mountains, the valley, all the way through. It's nice. This is pretty. There's no doubt about that. Um, and again, just like Clinchfield, I wasn't crazy about the uh, the engines. Uh, I'm fine with the GP7. NF7, but the rest of them are kind of garbage, in my opinion, which I'm entitled to, as you are yours. Um, but I get the feeling the engines here are going to be the same. It's cool that we're going to get some new cars, some new freight cars, but the map, again, is key. And uh, we're going to try and check this out as much as possible. I'm seeing some floating buildings here. All right. Not a huge deal. I mean, it just goes, it keeps going back and back and back. See how far we can go here. It's, uh, are these all 2D? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They are thick. Look at that. Jesus. That's pretty. What's this down here? Some tennis courts. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Mountain Lodge and Gym. Now, I don't know if that is unique to this map or not, but it doesn't ring any bells for anything I've seen before uh, in the game. Check out what's down here. we got a small bridge. All right, so we're in Jasper. 
Just kind of want to look around at the track work. I've seen a couple of unique signs as well. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, though. Um, let's see. A couple of boats. Like, this stuff right here, this is nice. But uh, I feel like there should have been a little bit more of it, you know, just in some of these terribly barren places. Maybe some weeds here and there, you know. Um, I don't know. But it's not terrible. Not by any means. Uh, let's see. Keep on trucking. Counter switches. We'll just pop that. All right. Does what a switch does. Uh, a couple of you know weird issues here. Sure, it can be uh, easily fixed in the editor. I wouldn't know how. I don't make things. Uh, let's see. All right, the shops. Got a turntable. Looks all right. It's definitely got the colors. These aren't open. That's a bit sad. I kind of wish those were open. More floating uh, dumpsters or whatnot there. All right, now the cabooses. These are unique as well because if you check out the back here, they have got lighting, and uh, they have their own. Canadian National has a color coordinated marker thing, and I have no clue uh, how it works, but these cabooses have it, and it is just a nice looking caboose. All right. I feel like I just said caboose like 10 times really fast. Not sure what this is either. I'm assuming it's like some sort of lodge for the company. Um, maybe offices. Anyway, it's a nice looking building. I mean, it just keeps going. Wow, this this area right here is pretty impressive. Um, now, in terms of signals, um, here we go. Some ground, some dwarfs. He's over here. Check that crossing out again. Do have arms? They do go down. Track work, you know, got your electronics boxes and signal boxes and all kinds of good stuff. Radio equipment and whatnot. Here we go. Got some speed signs. That's a nice touch. It's always good when we have those. Uh, wow, look at these. Those are unique. I don't know if I've seen any like that before. Um, the way they're like offset like that. It's kind of funky. I like it. Let's see. What do these say? So there's your whistle board right there. Okay. We'll know how much farther it's going to let us go, but what do you say we hop in that GP and uh, see what we can get into? All right, look at bridge. Look at these handrails. That's nice. Right on. So far, so good. Some more of the uh, town out yonder. All right, let's get back in here. Fly our make-believe drone back to the engines. All right, so we'll just kind of scooch around in this uh, pair, do what we're going to do. Um, just see how they perform, I guess, and how this yard works out, uh, and then we'll move on to something else. First, let's take a look at this sprawling map. So we are at the farthest eastern reaches of the map. Thank goodness. This area down here looks highly unique. Uh, from what I understand, I guess it's where a couple of subdivisions come together. Um, kind of twisty, not too twisty. And I also took a look at the speeds. Um, I watched a couple IRL videos uh, as well. And they don't seem like your typical... Canadian speeds like uh, Peace River for instance 
not a bad little route, but the speeds are just almost unbearable. I do believe there are uh, some 45s around here. Um, I don't know, maybe higher. We'll see. All right, let's hop in. Well, eh, it's all right. Not fantastic. It's it's got the hallmarks of uh, ye olden days of train simming. Um, but I've <clears throat> excuse me. I've always found these cabs unique. Uh, it just it's like you're in a, a tank or a, a I don't know something. It's just very heavy duty looking. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. So we got our orders up here on the clipboard. It's pretty neat. Uh, now, windows. I guess that's a negative, Ghost Rider. Um, I'm clicking all over the place. Don't look like it's going to happen. All right. There's our lights. The rear door does not open either. Okay. Number lights. Ah, there we go. I'll take it. Hey, those don't look too bad either. Seeing as how they're not even either. You know, it's like some of the bulb burn out one side, a little bit more clear the other side. That looks alright. Uh, let's see what else we got here. That looks like it. It looks like it. Alright. I'm sure I'll miss something. I always do. Come over here, conductor's gear, emergency brake, cannot touch it, you can touch it, but you can't, uh, can't work it. So now you get to the nose, out the train, get your big ass speedo up here, up top. Alright, back over here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Now this is the Canadian National um, the hallmarks of uh, how they run with um, lighting markers and whatnot. Again, I don't know how they work, but we'll just mess with them see what we can get done here. Alright, so they're set to white, and they work. They're white. How about that? Set them to green. And they're blue. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind and I just haven't realized it until now. Yeah, I don't know. Off. I'm assuming red works, but we'll check. I kind of want to be as thorough as possible here. Alvi, damn, they do. Okay, so we'll turn them off. Not sure how they work. Don't want to confuse other railroaders. Uh, let's see. Use your wiper switch. Instrument lights, there we go. Yeah. Eh. They're uh they're doable, I guess. Got our sand lead truck. None of those work, that doesn't work. Uh here's our headlights, okay. The headlights are insanely bright. Uh I had a little mess around earlier, just uh like taking pictures and whatnot, and I don't know, they're like HID xenon, you know, floodlights. Um, well, they're not on right here for whatever reason, but uh, earlier when I was messing with them, they sure as hell were. They're not coming on, that's odd. Light rear. Okay, hold on, so we're just going to try the H method. Oh, dearie me. I think I done broke it. No, there we go. Hold on. Shift H. So, I think I had him on the rear, maybe. Alright, so that's the headlights. Nothing uh, too spectacular. That's, you know, typical headlights. Alright. My pressing uh, want the horn and bell.
Well, I can tell you right off the bat, in the cab, it, it's a little quiet, and it doesn't sound bad, but it just kind of cuts right at the end, like there's no trail. Uh, it's got a loop, but it's fairly lengthy and smooth. That ain't the worst, worst horn uh, in the game. I'll give it that much. That ain't too bad. But I just don't like how it ends. It is what it is. Whatever. Alright, bell. That sounds alright. Well, damn. That ain't too shabby. I have no clue what kind of bell's supposed to really go on this thing, but that doesn't sound too bad. Alright. See, check these headlights out. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the front of that engine over there. And it does something with the red. Uh, I don't know. It's just really weird. And off. It's just too white. Like, it needs to be more orangey. Orange. Alright. Uh, let's drive it around a bit, see what we're going to do here. Alright, couple up to a couple of cars behind us. We are responsible for our own switches, I believe. That one's popped. Alright, where are we at? Here we go. So again, the sounds, it just, uh, it sounds to me like that Kuju SD40 sound. I don't know if it's this or an SD40 nearby, but, um, man, that's a shame. That horn is decent. If it, uh, if it just had that, that kind of trailing off bit, it, it, it'd be all right. Again, you know, I'm. The price reflects otherwise, but I I feel like a lot of this is a, about the map itself, you know, like the stock that comes with is like the cherry on top, like gratis, you know. Uh, it is pretty neat. This is the first model. I I love the way these engines look. I I would love to be able to get uh, some some decent sounds on these things. Um, but anyway. Sounds aren't amazing on the uh, the switches and whatnot. Same kind of flat clackety clack. Uh, smoke, exhaust. Don't really notice it. Um, can't really see it, to be honest. You can kind of see it. Um, all right, a little bit of loco brake. We are going faster than I imagined. Yeah, we might might have a giant problem here in just a moment. Yep, that's the e-brake. So you can switch the PCS or you can trip it. That's cool. Please don't derail. Yeah, we derailed. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. Player train derailed. Well, we got to take a look at Jasper. We'll hop now in the SD. I made the game angry. All right, so here are the scenarios you get with. I'm not sure why this one is kind of by itself. It's still the CNGP 40-2LW, uh, but it's weird how it's kind of like on its own over here. 
All right, Lumber Drag. Let's see. Heavy Lumber Train, 360 Prince George, Winnipeg from T. Tijon uh, to Moose Lake. I kind of want to go to the extreme west side. West side. Let's see. You know what? We'll do that one. We'll just hop in this one. It uh, should be nice and, and light out. Pretty visible. All right. We'll see what we got here. But uh, fact of the matter, even though it does not have great stock, um, and by stock I just mean the engines, the caboose and the cars look fine. Uh, there are plenty of other locomotives, train sets, and paints that can finally be used in a proper area. Uh, I can think of several right off the bat, you know, some F7s. Um, uh, SD70s, some Jeevos, uh, maybe some GP9s, etc. Anyway, this is already pretty. I mean, the setting is undoubtedly pretty. That is, that's no argument there. All right, it says once you currently, or you are currently waiting at Taejong siding to meet train 835. Once you get your OCS clearance and train 835 has passed, you can be on your way. From Harvey, you will be following signal indications, taking the north connecting track onto the Robson sub and then south connecting track onto the Alpreda sub. So we must be on the west end here. Plus, it's a bit more mountainous. Canadian Rockies, after all. All right, so as you can tell, uh, this is the SD40, not the GP40. It sounds identical same horn same bell okay <laughs> all right these are pretty cool always like this about mile post stuff uh, like clear creek etc I love stuff like this the little things all right. do not leave until 835 Proceed east from Tejon to Harvey. Conductor Smith. Alrighty. Yep. Horn and Bell identical. Maybe they are in real life. I do not know. Um, okay. God almighty, the setting. Especially with the current world circumstances, I could live out here. Boy, let me tell you. Just makes me want to expletive like a son of a bitch. How pretty it is. The moon setting over the uh, mountains. Moon. Did I just say a moon? I I just said moon. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's look at the map. Where are we at? Let's see. Yep. West side. Extreme west. Wow, we picked the right one, didn't we? So we were over here initially. Yeah, we got one coming at us, so we're waiting for him. Go via Peterson North Connecting Track. So you go down here. Uh, let's see. It says, once train 835 is cleared to switch, you'll need to manually change it as we are out of CTC territory. Uh, you have permission to leave switch in the reverse position. Right on. Right on. All right, Cedar Side. Let's see. That's it. Another big one coming there. Wow. See, I, I just kind of wanted to show what the route is like, you know, in a nutshell. I obviously, if I ran one of these scenarios, it'd be like a an eternal video, so to speak. Uh, so we'll get to that at some point. See what's coming here. Oh, we can go check out our caboose. Uh, we should have one. These cars look all right, though. Lumba. I 
I'm just glad we got something else North American on the books for Train Simulator, and it's Canadian. It's pretty exciting, you know, something new, something different. All right, I'm going to pop the headlights on and see if they activate the, uh, the tail lamps back here. Damn sure do. Look at that. Nice. Very cool. Nice looking caboose. I like the black top. Couple of wells. Alright, let's see if we can get in this thing. Let's see if we can get in. Ah, so it's an external only? Okay. Yep. That's fine. I don't mind the external bit. It's kind of cool. Be nice if we had one where you can go in and out. No, uh, but what else? It is what it is. Let's just train roll by here. There's the sound. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Now, <sighs> those sound all right. Those sound all right. Got some squealing, couple of flat spots. All right, here's ours. Now, I reckon we can get a move on. All right, center player. Let's see, let's get on. There we go, it's buggy. I see a bridge up yonder. So, I don't know if it's just the siding we're on, but it's currently 20, and the way signaling works kind of in outer reaches such as this, uh, speeds are usually a little bit slower, uh, just to keep things safe. Find out here. Let's see if we can find anything. I'm going to assume the rest of this uh, line is probably 20. Let's check this bridge out up here. Da, 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 da. We got a crossing right on, old rural crossing. Rural. I hate saying that word. Rural. Rural. Looks all right. And it did have a crossing warning. See where this little road goes. No, oh, we got a house up here. Right on. The little things. Wow. It's it's a bold statement, but I I'm gonna go ahead and say it. These these mountain ranges here kind of rival some of the Rivet slash Thompson Media stuff. Gorgeous. Some kind of main highway here. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Alright, looking road bridge. Let's check this trestle out. 
looks good now I'm not hearing any sort of like ambient sounds um, I don't know if it's got to do with being near the train uh, to be able to hear them but I, I kind of had the same issue with Clinchfield you know like you'd be hearing uh, you know birds and squirrels and chipmunks chittering and just all kinds of stuff um, I don't know it's a nice looking bridge though and here we go I saw this earlier as well <laughs> Private property, no trespassing. Trespassers will be prosecuting Canadian National Police. Train coppers. And I just noticed there's a, uh, a horn icon on the HUD as well. Okay. Sounds got some all right distancing to it. Um, just going to kind of test out the range. Yeah, we are speeding, but I'm trying to uh, get as much done here as possible. Not bad. They got some points of the horn, right? Dude, I, I'm kind of impressed with these uh, freight car sounds. They s sound good. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded like a question and I also just noticed I guess the rear of our train was off that siding so the speed is 40 Hiawatha that's one of my biggest fears about this route uh, was extremely low speed all right so we definitely got some lumber operations going on out y'all I mean, this is all right, but I don't see any kind of uh, like equipment, you know, tractors and whatnot, front loaders. All right, another backwater crossing, no arms, that's fine. These signals look unique. I don't know that I've seen these before. Uh, just the the construction of them, the uh, the arms themselves, don't look too bad. Now the speed board, thirty five thirty. That means passenger operations uh, do commence out here with the the dual speed. Um, Whoa. Crazy camera lag. Man. How pretty. How pretty. Alright, where's our train? Where are we at? Wait, that's not us. No. Who's this? Sulcan. 
Now, those look new. I don't, I don't remember seeing these either. Especially that bright ass yellow sulfur in them. It's a nice looking uh, gun. Did not mean to hit F12. Where's our train? <laughs> there we go. Getting way too ahead of ourselves here. All right, so he was going off down to the south. So we are cutting, this would head north and then east. And then that way I believe goes south. Let's double check here. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, so we actually are going to be heading south. Now just to take another look at Uh, one of these other scenarios in just a second in a different area. All right, so Cedar Side is south of where we currently are. Um, Spicer, let's see, Loveland. Jackman. and Mount Spur. What's this here? That's a big boy. Big boy. Alright, where's this at here? It's a nice looking Y. Red Pass, Y, West, and East. A leg. That goes Red Pass. Alright, Red Pass. Yellowhead set out sighting. What's this here? I'm trying to think uh, like where to head next to look here. Different area. I hear something. Alright, that would be us. Well, so far from what I've seen, the signaling looks good. Uh, we got speed boards. We got... Uh, Whistle stop or whistle posts. Um, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's just a massive map. I can't imagine just you know fine tuning every every bit of this map that's a 1650 no way that is fast somewhere uh, out here that's pretty damn fast all right got some more lumber activity going on yeah another bridge old iron sides Let's see what that says another no trespassing Go up here. Yeah, uh, this it's pretty. I've said it ten times. I'll say it ten more. It is damn pretty. I could spend hours just taking pictures around here. Wow. That uh, that melted glacier water got that look just right. Not sure what that is, but uh, tiny, tiny bit of uh, earth coming up out of the water there. I'm sure you could fix that in the editor. Uh, let's see. Tunnel entrance looks all right. Ah, I'm trapped. There we go. And we cannot get too far from the train once again. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's see. Where are we at? So that would loop us around. Uh, that's interesting. Why not? Um, well, shit. I guess that's the only way you can go. All right, moving on. Let's check out one more. See if we can kind of get some more mid-map. All right, 
right, so we did this one, uh, Jasper Yard. I believe we did that one. Prince George went a bag from Tete Jean to Moose Lake. Let's see. Six side local way for a chain from Red Pass. Okay, so that's kind of mid. Um, high running, uh, late running, high priority, intermodal 202 Vancouver, Montreal, full length of the route. Whoo! Two hours. Switch Cedarside Lumber Mill and take the local to Jackman to tie down. All right, that might be one um, to look at there. Jasper, Jasper to Red Pass. Loaded grain train, Watahi loaded grain train, Winnipeg Prince. Da, da, da. Take Sulphur Train 787 Vancouver from West Jasper to Red Pass on a fine winter's afternoon. Uh, Vailmont. All right, so it looks like Red Pass or Cedarside. We'll go for Cedarside. We'll check this out. All right, you'll first be running around your train on the main line and picking up the loaded cars. Oh, and uh, another thing I noticed earlier that I didn't mention that I just now am thinking of are telephone poles and electrical wires. I saw some, some curvature, you know, going around the bend of a road or a line, and they were straight. They weren't, uh, you know, that weird, like, old-school kind of the wires curving on its own type thing if you know what I mean so that's nice it's another big ass lumber yard I mean there's just trees for days up uh, this part of the country and they are utilizing them here and there's a tractor doesn't really look like a you know tractor for an operation like this but uh, what do I know uh, let's see. Now that's neat. Uh, no idea what that little sign is, but I don't know if I've seen that before. I like these signals. These look pretty good. All right. Let's take a gander at the map here. Zoom it on out. All right, so we are on the extreme southern end of the branch. It's got a couple of spurs here. Man, I hope to see some scenario makers uh, put some good use to this route. It is a decent route. I like it so far. I cannot wait to throw some other stock on here, or at least swap out the stock um, in the career scenarios, if anything. All right, we'll run down the line here. <clears throat> More decent speeds, 40-30. Bridge. I mean, this is a, a massive map. I haven't really seen anything that's kind of put me off, so to speak. Um, to, to go through a map this size with a fine tooth comb, uh, it's going to take some time, I think. Some others may see things right off the bat, I'm certain. Um, did we go the wrong way on the map? I believe we did. 
Yep, we did. <laughs> There's the Spurs right there. Okay. Uh, but so far, so good. I like it. Um, one of one of the main complaints, I guess, that I could throw out there, if I'm, you know, just to be fair and uh, speak my mind, is when I first saw it in initial pictures, it just looked a little bare. Uh, the ground, foliage, trees, bushes, all that. Like, it just... Uh, I don't know. Just, uh... Like, some areas it doesn't look too bad. And some, not so great. This is kind of funky. Right here. Now that we're on the subject. Um... Yee. But talk about trees. Just trains ain't got nothing on this map. That's a that's an old old joke. Just trains routes are getting fantastic. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, it looks all right. I mean, I really don't know what else to say. It's 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 not really a mountain pass route. It's more a, a valley, a river valley route with mountains on either side and just views for days uh, I really really want to try the uh, one end to the other scenario here soon maybe we'll make a um, video out of it um, but I really don't know what else to go over I just kind of wanted to share uh, what it's got to offer that I've come across and what it looks like and sounds like and feels like and smells like and tastes like, I guess. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll nip it in the bud right here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time, hopefully with some more Yellowhead Pass. See you guys.